Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to set up the APN settings for your cell phone. This is an unlocked cell phone, and you would use this in order to set up your carrier. So AT&T in this case, but you could use it for T-Mobile or any other carrier around the world, as long as you go into these settings. So make sure you have your SIM card in. Let's go into our settings. And yours might look a little bit different depending on what version Android you have and what type of phone. But basically we want to go to mobile networks. And under here we have a couple different options. We have access point names or APN and network operators. Now network operators will try and find the best network for you. And this will take some time usually and come back with a network. But it doesn't always work well. You can see the available networks just showed up. And we have ATT or AT&T, T-Mobile. I'm not sure what 311660 is, and Verizon. These are different networks that it picked up around the area, basically, and it's trying to have you use one of them. I would generally say don't use these. So let's go back, go to access point names, and you can see what it's done is actually figured out what SIM card's in there and tried to pick the best. However, this doesn't really work well. So what we can do is either create a new one or edit the existing one. I'm going to create a new one and you just want to hit the plus button up here, create a new one. And the first thing you want to do is set a name and we'll set that to whatever we want. It really doesn't matter, but I'll set it to my ATT APN. And that way I know what it is. We'll hit okay. Now these are the important things. The rest will be named or left blank rather. So we'll start with APN, the APN for this particular. Now this is for LTE settings for AT&T. So make sure that if you don't have LTE, be sure to check the description below where the other settings are. But this is for LTE. So in this case, we want to go to the APN name and we're going to name it phone. Hit OK. Next, we need to set the MMSC. So all of this stuff does not matter. The important thing is the APN name. We'll scroll down to MMSC. And this is a little bit longer. HTTP colon slash slash MMSC dot mobile dot ATT dot net. Hit OK. We also need to set the MMS proxy, and this one is proxy dot mobile dot net dot att dot net actually. Hit OK. After we've set that, a lot of this will auto fill the MCC, the MNC, but we need to set the MMS port. So we'll do that, and that port is 80. And this is for texting and messaging. And then down here you can see MCC and MNC are 310 and 410. That should auto set, but that's what it should be. The next thing we need to set is the APN type. Under APN type, we want default. Comma. SUPL. Comma. MMS. And then hit OK. Everything else below we can basically leave alone. Now if you have an MVNO, uh, you'll probably know that and you can select that if you need to. Uh, but in this case, this is AT&T LTE. We don't need that. So we're going to go up to this little thing here and save. Make sure you save before you go back or it will delete and you'll have to do this all over again. So you can see right here there is my ATT APN. Tap on it. It will switch. And you can see I have full bars now, but that's because I have good signal strength. Now, because this is a one plus one phone or a newer phone, you may run into the similar issue where it's not really recognized right away on AT&T's network as an LTE device. That took a little while. It does kick in and it will work really well. So if I turn Wi-Fi off here, it should kick over to H plus. Now, if I'm in an LTE area, it will jump to 4G LTE. Just depends where you're at and what your signal's like. And like I said, this may take a while to do, but it will work really well. And those are the LTE settings for an AT&T phone.
Now, again, if you're on a different carrier, these are going to be slightly different. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you can take a look at the other APN settings if you need them for T-Mobile and some of the other carriers as well. If you have any other suggestions or maybe you have a great APN setup for what you have, please let me know in the comments below or message me directly and I'll give that to the other viewers as well to try and help them along as best I can. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.